name is Selena, and I'm here to do a wrap-up video for the month of March. So, here are the books that I finished in the month of March. I so, the first book I finished in March was Jasper Ford's Shades of Grey, which is the first in what I think is going to be a series, but the second book has not come out. This is the first book, and it follows, it follows Eddie Russett and his father as they are relocated to a new town that's kind of like on the outskirts of their society. So this is like a dystopian um, story, and it takes place many years in the future. The world has gone through many changes, and this current system of society is based on color. It's a color colorocracy, colorocracy, colorocracy. Basically, your position in society is dependent on what colors you can and cannot see. So Eddie Russell sees red, and so he wants to move up in society, so he needs to marry someone who also sees red to build up their red, or marry someone maybe who sees blue, and therefore their children, their progeny, would see purple, and then therefore they would be in the higher ranks of society. However, when he moves to a new town on the outskirts, he is confronted with a lot of dubious uh, social and political activity that he has to kind of navigate, and in that he unearths some corruption in the society, because there's always corruption in society in a dystopian novel, and that's where kind of the story leaves off at, so hopefully book two will bring some conclusion to that. The second book that I read was Saga, Volume 2, and great book. I did a review of it, um, or more of a book gush, actually. So I'll leave a link to it if I remember to down below so you can go to see that to see what I thought of it. Um, and then the the third book that I finished in the month, month of March is Delilah Dirk and the Turkish Lieutenant. So um, Book Rat Misty had talked about this book, mentioned that it takes place during what would be like the Regency era, and so I was like, okay, I'll pick it up, because every time I hear Regency, I think Jane Austen, and I'm an Austen nut, so I picked up the uh, graphic novel, and I loved it. It's by Tony Cliff, and it is more um, youth-friendly than I would say Saga is. Saga is very much for a mature audience, but um, Delilah Durkin and Turkish Lieutenant is more fun and fanciful. Um, there is adventure and sword fights and stuff like that, but it's very, um, like it would say, PG um, in, in its content. And I gave that book, or that graphic novel, four stars. By the way, I gave Saga, Volume 2, five stars, and I gave Shades of Grey by Jasper Ford, four stars. Then the last book that I read in the month of March was Brandon Sanderson's Mistborn, which is the first book in the Mistborn series. So, it's actually, the title is The Final Empire, but I just call it Mistborn. Everyone else calls it Mistborn, I think. But its proper name is The Final Empire. And so it follows Vin and Kelsier and a band of thieves who join together to overthrow an evil empire and its leader. And, and just kind of the, the adventure and setbacks and the things that happen in, their, in this process. So, um, I thought this was a great book. I love this book. It was so much fun to read and, and just to get into the characters' heads and things like that. It's told from both Kelsier's and Vin's perspective, which is really nice. Um, I gave this book five stars. And there you go. Those are the books that I read in the month of March. Um, let me know down below what you were able to read in the month of March. I had a very busy month. Things changed for me. I left one job and I started another. So my volume of reading may go down, but I'm hoping it won't. Bye!